Hey everyone. I know one of the biggest challenges we all have on Zoom is maintaining this universal sense of time whenever we use breakout sessions since people go into the rooms and then they're wondering how many minutes they've clocked versus how many they have left and you know we're keeping track on our phones or however. Uh, so I just wanted to share a very helpful Zoom feature I discovered last week where you can actually set a timer for your breakout sessions uh, that has a countdown clock that's visible in the main room and in every breakout room so that everyone again is on the same page. So I found it super helpful um, and I'll show you a very, very quick demo to, to do it uh, yourself. So if you go down to the toolbar you see for breakout rooms, it comes up with the typical prompt. Uh, you can pick any option you want here, it doesn't matter. So let's say I go aside manually and I create three rooms. What, you can do whatever. I hit create, this little tiny button, this is the game changer. So this little very subtle button that most people don't even notice where it says options, you click into that this bottom half here is where we want to draw our attention. So typically this box is unticked by default, the one that says auto close breakout rooms after blank minutes. So I'm going to turn it on um, and typically it says five minutes as default, but for the purpose of making this demo super speedy, I've put it down to one. And then underneath that, it says notify me when the time is up. Make sure that's checked because again, once you your clock hits zero, It'll give you a prompt to either close your rooms as planned or God forbid you want to leave them open longer. It'll give you the option to do so. So make sure that's ticked. And then thirdly, where it says countdown after closing breakout room, this again is typically 60 seconds. And this is like, think of it anytime you're in a breakout room, even when it's not timed, 60 seconds is that standard buffer between when the room closes and you're dragged back to the uh, main session, uh, kicking and screaming, if you will. So uh, again, it's 60 seconds is the standard and because everyone using Zoom is accustomed to the 60 second buffer, I would leave it as that. But again, for my demo, I'm just doing 10 seconds because I want to make it super speedy. So once you do that, you click out of here um, and then you open all your rooms and you can see once this uh, message about participants have been invited to join breakout rooms, once that fades, you see your incredible clock where you now have the countdown of how many um, session seconds or minutes are left. So you, what you see in the main room is exactly what everyone in the breakout session sees. So it's super helpful. Um, you still want to use things like broadcast message to all, like uh, the feature here for anyone who doesn't know it. So let's say you had, um, you know, people paired off for four minutes and they each had two minutes to share. You still want to send a prompt saying, you know, okay, you know, two minutes down, second person should now be talking and, and send that message so that they're prompted to switch. Because again, People might not be that on top of it, but the main thing is people will be much more relaxed and much more conscientious of maintaining time and ensuring other people are uh, you know, get, getting a chance to speak if they see the time clocking down. And then you'll see as it's going down to the five, uh, you know, it's counting down from five seconds now. Like I said, it, the prompt is going to come up any second now. Here it is. So now that the time has run out, you have two options. You either close the room now, and again, it does that buffer. And like I said, I would make that 60 seconds. You don't want to give anyone Zoom whiplash. If it's like 10 seconds, I might throw them off. Uh, so keep that 60 seconds, if you will. Um, otherwise, you can keep the breakout rooms open. So for the purpose of this, I'm going to keep them open just to show you. What happens is you see the time now stays at a flat line of zero. So that's the only thing to be cautious of is um, it stays at zero. So that can be confusing to some people if you said it was a timed activity. So again, you want to make sure you're using the broadcast all to explain the context of why you're giving more time. Um, but again, ideally, you know, if you are going to use time breakout sessions, try and be consistent because then it's less confusing for the, the people involved. But otherwise, it's a huge game changer because it saves for anyone who's had to run Zoom sessions or facilitate. Uh, people are always, you know, curious or stressed about how much time they have. So it, it means you have to message people far less because they're keeping track um, and people are less panicked. So I uh, definitely recommend using it. Um, so yeah, uh, been super helpful. I hope it helps you too. <laughs> See ya.